I'm Wade Sumner. This is our 2012 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive access cab with a 2015 four-wheel camper. It's the Eagle model. It's the last year they made the Eagle, which is 69 inches wide and designed for the longer bed Tacomas. We had a prior Tacoma we sold. We wanted more living room space. Uh, the truck has custom armor, front and rear bumpers from CVI Fabrications in Idaho, along with the sliders. Custom suspension with IBD suspension components, front and rear, and a custom leaf pack from Oregon Auto Springs out of Portland, Oregon, in order to carry the weight from the camper. Um, I'm running SCS custom Stealth Custom Series wheels, 16 by 8s with Falcon Wild Peak tires. The camper itself um, is a four-wheel camper calls a silver spur color. However, the, uh, the color matched is actually uh, 3M's 1080 vinyl wrap that my wife and I applied um, to color match the camper to the truck. So it is kind of a one-of-kind uh, custom color. Looks great. It's uh, painstakingly applied. Running uh, Baja Designs lights, uh, Squadron Pros for the ditch lights, XL Pros for, for downrange lights and uh, wide cornering. And uh, again, CVI front bumper, uh, it's their Moab 2, and this one's fabricated out of aluminum, so it saves a ton of weight. Hmm. Still winch capable and uh, robust and reliable. And running an ARV Safari Snorkel, um, not only for deep water crossings, uh, should, should my wife ever allow me to make one, but also to get uh, clean air, get the intake up off the ground, prevent dust and contaminants from getting into the air clean. CVI fabricated the uh, the rear bumper. This is their uh, high clearance rear bumper for the Tacoma. And then because of the camper and the clearance from the rear of the truck overhang by the camper, they had to actually custom fabricate the swing out to get out and around the camper. And they did just a spot on job. I sent Steve and Nathan at CVI some dimensions and a bunch of photographs for what kind of clearance we needed. And when it, when it arrived, the fit was absolutely perfect. They did a great job. And the bumper's modular, it allows me to run a couple of jerry cans and either a full size, a second full size spare, or the bike rack module that they just custom built for me as well. Awesome. So from the factory, the interior, the way I bought it had just the floor pack, which is this lower section, um, because I had measured out everything where I wanted my fridge, the weight of my fridge on the front bulkhead, my battery box on the front bulkhead. I wanted the weight as far forward as possible and in my mind what I wanted was basically a, a wraparound couch scenario where my wife and I could both sit, stretch out, read a magazine, inclement weather, play some cards, play bananagrams, whatever we wanted, you know. It's very and, roomy uh, inside. I bought the table online. It's um, manufactured, it's a Swedish manufacturer for the marine industry called a lagoon table and it uh, moves around and pivots and goes up and down. So. For meals, we can lower it a little bit if we're playing cards, um, and it'll move over there if we need, you know, prep and storage area on the side. I built in storage boxes on the side and replaced all the factory original wiring, put in all blue sea marine grade um, fuse block, secondary fuses for the battery box for my house battery, which is inside. And then I added Samlex shore charge for our shore power AC charger, basically. And then a Victron, um, again, marine grade for our solar charger. I added a couple hundred watts, two 100 watt panels on the roof for our solar. And, uh, and then Victron's readout for my solar panels. So wow. it tells me what the charger's doing currently. That's then I so ordered cool. a couple of boxes to rough dimensions from Four Wheel Camper and got them home and cut them down for the specific dimension I needed. This one is kind of uh, heavy storage and houses three front runner cub boxes that house, you know, hammocks, batteries, backpacks, day packs, first aid kit, lanterns and gas, our coffee kit with jet boil and coffee grinder and all that good stuff for in the morning. And then the small cabinet on our left is basically just a closet um, storage for spare clothes, towels, sheets, 